If you're installing a furnace at a high altitude, you'll need to change out some of the components because at a high altitude, the combustion rate's different because the air is thinner. Now, what is high altitude specifically? When do you need to consider your altitude high enough to change those components out? Well, it changes based upon the manufacturer's recommendation for each piece of equipment. So you need to look at the specifications for the particular furnace you're purchasing, but it could be usually in the range of anywhere from 3,000 feet up to 6,000 feet or 7,000 feet on average is when conversion kits are usually needed. Let's take a look at some conversion components, talk about how easy it is to change them out. Over here we have orifices. Now these are found inside the furnace near the burner and uh, the furnace that you purchase will have orifices in it already. So what you'll do is you'll remove those orifices and screw these ones in instead. And they just simply screw out and screw in. And this is a little hole through which the natural gas or propane gas passes through. There's usually about six in a kit. You may not use all six, depending upon the capacity of your furnace. You may use anywhere from three or four or five on up. So just discard the ones that you don't use. Over here, which also comes with the kit, are components that go inside the gas valve in the furnace, uh, particularly springs. There's a tiny little spring that will regulate the gas pressure, and you'll remove the spring that's in the gas valve and replace it with one of these springs. Now, you may have one or two springs that you'll need to change, depending upon if you have a one-stage furnace, you'd have one spring. If you have a two-stage furnace, you'll have two springs. Now, the kit includes more components than you'll actually use. That's because it's a uh, generic kit that's uh, meant to be used with different brands of gas valves. So see the information that's included with the kit. If you have a Honeywell gas valve, use the Honeywell components. If you have a White Roger gas valve, use the White Roger components, etc. And just discard the components you don't need. For example, you may end up discarding this little component here, which would be used for furnaces that have a standing pilot. If you don't have a standing pilot, but you have electronic ignition instead, chuck it. You won't, you won't need that one. So take a look at the instructions. It'll clarify that. Now you may also need to change uh, this component out as well. This is a pressure switch, depending upon the model you have. Uh, this is a high altitude pressure switch. And again, quite simple to do. You locate this component in the cabinet, the one you already have in the furnace you purchased. It'll look just like this. You take that one out uh, by simply unscrewing it, removing a few wires and pulling a hose off, putting this one in in its place and discarding the other one and this high altitude pressure switch will accommodate usage at those high altitudes. So, if you're installing a furnace at a high altitude, be aware of the fact that you will need to change out some of the components with a furnace high altitude conversion kit. Mm -hmm.